Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Han Renee and it is so nice to meet you and if you like healthy lifestyle content from a married working college student, that's what I post on here. So we are going to pack for my spring break trip. I'm going to Texas so we need to pack for the trip and I'm going to bring you along. Without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. I will put my packing list in the description box below in case you need a packing list for your own spring break trip. But we need to start with outfits. That's the most important part. So let's get to thinking. Also, the weather is going to be in the 80s while I'm there. So we have to keep that in mind. So we're going to start off with shorts. I got these green sweat shorts. Thought they'd be good for an extra hot day. A pair of denim shorts and then a pair of black shorts. These are from American Eagle and Aerie and I think these will be good base options. So we just need some tops. Here's the tops. I decided to go with it. With the green shorts I have this gray t-shirt. It's very flowy so it's good for when I sweat a lot and I know Texas is humid. This one is just a staple outfit for me. I love button-ups in the summer because of sweat reasons. So I just have a plain black tank top underneath and then this one is just cute. <laughs> this is just a graphic tee. So I think these will be good for all of the sweating that I could be doing, which is what I'm anticipating. I absolutely need to pack some jeans. I'm gonna pack these just plain blue ones because they're kind of more like formal because I have no idea what we're gonna be doing. So need to be prepared. And then these are like my favorite summer jeans. They just have some roots in them. So I'm gonna pack those and I'll probably need like a jacket, a sweater or something like that for when it's cold. Now, while we have outfits on the mind, we gotta think accessories. So let's go look at some shoes, hats, all that good stuff. There's not many places I can put you in my closet so you're in my bathroom, but for the green short outfit, I was thinking this hat wouldn't be, this would be the most perfect thing the perfect thing so we're gonna pack the hat then we have what else we have the black with the pink hmm. i feel like with that i'll probably just wear a black scrunchie for my hair that's pretty easy and then for the white shirt outfit hmm, i'm thinking maybe a claw clip i don't really have any claw clips that match so maybe I should do a scrunchie for that one and a claw clip for the other one. I'm thinking we'll just do scrunchies. This will be for the white with the blue riding shirt and then the black one for the other one. So we got that. Shoes. We definitely need my Converse, obviously. And then we probably need some sandals. So I'll bring my Birkenstocks is what I'm thinking. I'm not really gonna bring much in terms of bags, but I am gonna bring this tote bag in case we like go to a lake, go to a coffee shop. I don't really know what we're doing. So I'm gonna bring this cause gotta expect the unexpected. This is the airport outfit that I'm thinking. We got flare leggings, t-shirt, then this little zip up in the Converse. I feel like it's good cause it's warm enough and also not too warm and it should be good for all weathers this is the extra little sweatshirt i'm gonna be bringing it's green you can't really tell but i feel like i just need this it's gonna go with everything and you never know you never know packing toiletries is not gonna be complete yet but i wanted to get started so let me show you what i'm packing as far as that goes first things first contact lens solution in the contact lens case that's important. It doesn't look like I have a mini deodorant, but I will be taking this native one. And then for perfume, I just have this little pink travel size one. So I'll use that. For skincare, I was running out of this anyways. <laughs> so I bought a new one. But I have the hyaluronic acid. This is a new bottle. So I'll be taking her. Tomorrow I'll have to buy some makeup remover because I don't have a travel size version of that. So I'm gonna write that down. For a moisturizer, I take this Neutrogena. <laughs> For moisturizer, I take this Neutrogena Hydro Boost little guy. 
It doesn't look like I have a travel size toner either. So I'll have to get travel size witch hazel toner. I do take this comb with me. This is how I brush my hair when it is wet. Then I have this travel little hairbrush. Just pops off like that. So I'm gonna take that. Now for the shower, we got a travel size body wash. We got some travel size conditioner. Oh, this is both conditioner. That's not helpful. This one's a shampoo, so we're gonna take those too. I have this little facial scrub. I know it's kind of excessive, but I'm bringing both my razors. I just have to. I'm gonna keep this on the shower though because I need to use it tomorrow. I don't have a travel sized shaving cream. Then we have a toothbrush and toothpaste. I'm bringing two of these because they're almost gone. Then for hair, I'm gonna bring this dry shampoo because my hair be getting oily. And just for my legs, I'm bringing this lotion too. This is the part I always forget something. I just wanna make sure that I'm not forgetting anything because I probably will. Hopefully not. Now we're going to makeup. These are my makeup drawers right here. So, first things first, eyebrow pencil, eyebrow gel. Then after that, I do primer. So we're gonna bring this Milani Prime Shield. For foundation, I bring this CoverGirl Silk Milk thing. I wear it like every day. Got my beauty blenders, a good concealer. It's actually kind of yellow for me, but Elf Camo Concealer, <laughs> I'm gonna bring that. I don't know what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna bring this sunscreen just in case. Um, for powder, I'm gonna bring the Glossier Powder because it won't spill on me, I know that. For bronzer, I'm gonna bring the City Bronzer by Maybelline. Then for blush, I'll bring, let's do this one, the DLS blush here. Highlighter, I have this Becca one. I have a lip balm downstairs, so I'll just use that. For eyeshadow, I'm bringing the Tartlet in Bloom palette. Gotta bring my eyelash curler. For eyelashes, I'm gonna bring this Morphe Make It Big Mascara. And I think the rest will be brushes. And that part's not interesting for you. This is the current status of the bag. This is actually good for me. This is not overpacking, so I'm proud of myself. So I went to Ulta and Target to get a few more things. This is just a travel size shaving cream, travel size toner, and then this is a full size makeup remover water but i'm gonna put it in a little jar so that it's travel size too good morning i just painted my nails while spending time with jesus and letting my hair dry as you can see i used the essie color in eternal optimist so it's really cute pink but now that they're dry and it's almost nine o'clock i leave at 12 i need to start doing my hair and all that so let's get into the rest of my preparing and packing We got makeup and toiletries packed. I got a swimsuit because I don't know if I need one. And I feel like I need another shirt because you never know. <laughs> and then I also have my Bible and journal, portable charger, and a book that I'm gonna put in my backpack. So that's the status. Alrighty friends, we went to the post office this morning to drop off the things I sold on the internet. I'll be gone and then we had to give my mom money for bills and stuff and then we went to breakfast but that's pretty much all that we did and now we are headed to the airport Alex dropped me off and that's the end of this video so thanks for joining me as I prepare for Texas thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I love to do those for you and I'll see you guys hopefully next Saturday. Bye guys! Bye!